But today, yeah, I wanted to talk about um, one of the, the messages that I had preached a little while back now. It was called, get some sleep and change your diaper. Oh, do you need some sleep? <laughs> do you need some rest? And have you made a mess? That's what we're going to be talking about over the next two episodes. We'll, yeah. be, we'll be right back. Good morning. Welcome to Wake Up. Where we wake up. Nice. I'm Pastor Jason. And I'm Pastor Scott. Howdy, howdy, howdy. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny because Katie did the same thing. No, stop yeah, she did. She did. She said, I'm Pastor Scott, too. I guess she used the same joke. But did she do howdy, howdy, howdy? No, she she missed the howdy. Did she do Ms. howdy? Betsy said she did howdy, howdy, howdy. I We're both then. your child, apparently. <laughs> you are. <laughs> Confirmed. This is my son, Christian. Hello. And... Uh, and uh, he's got a new, he's got my grandson. I do, yep. He's six months old now, a little over six months old, which is crazy that it's been that long Yeah, already. He's um, amazing. I'm so addicted to him. <laughs> you guys were best. gone for a week and I was having Booker withdrawals. <laughs> and now you guys and if are you, If you're a grandparent, you know what I'm talking about. It's weird. Like you're just like, I, I have to see my grandson. Where is he? <laughs> I went out and bought him stuff because I, I hadn't seen him. For, was, yeah, it was I hadn't seen him for a week. <laughs> they called it return miss. It was like a... <laughs> It was the day of gifts. Well, it was funny because the tradition was always when you went out on a vacation and came home, you would bring us presents. That's true. I, but I went. this was the opposite now where we came home and there was presents waiting for us. But but just so they all know, I didn't go on vacation. <laughs> like, I get what you're saying. You said when you went out on vacation and then returned to us. I wasn't on vacation when I left you. <laughs> I was working. True, true. Yes, I guess <laughs> I was that on, is important. But I would be on tour and stuff or something or whatever. And then I'd come home and bring yeah. gifts. But that, I got gifts for him because he came home. Right. So uh, let's get into the scripture today, yes. though. Yes, um, and so yeah, just just uh, let's intro it a bit. Um, you know, one of the things that this message was kind of relating towards was just this idea that we need to take care of ourselves the way that we might take care of someone else. Uh, one of my favorite quotes is like, "Take care of yourself as if you were taking care of someone else." So if you're if someone was coming to you and you were giving them advice, well, just do that to yourself. Yeah. Like put yourself on that regimen, put your like take that time to invest in and in making sure that you're taking care of yourself. Well, it makes as well. sense like if you if you're saying, "Hey, I think you should work out," then you're like, "Well, I should work out." Yeah. <laughs> hey, I think you should eat better than that. You're like, "Well, I should eat better right, than that." Yeah, right. Yeah, it makes total sense. And so uh the first step was was getting some sleep, finding our rest and and it all came kind of from this idea that as I was taking care of Booker in those newborn months, which, man, those months are crazy um, for any parent. Yeah. You know that they're crazy. But I was doing all this research because Booker was having a hard time sleeping during the day. He just wouldn't nap, just refused to take any naps. Yeah. And I started doing research because this is sort of my he response so to mad. problems. He gets so mad. <laughs> he gets so mad. I'm not sleeping right now. <laughs> He'd cry. He's tough too. He is. He is. And yeah. so I was doing this research and I found out that there's this state that babies go into where they actually become overtired. If they don't get to sleep, if they don't get the rest that they need, mm -hmm. their body goes into overdrive because it thinks, okay, I must need to stay up right now. And so it starts to produce hormones that actually keep it up. Wow. Even though the solution is to rest, the body starts producing adrenaline, starts producing cortisol. Wow. These hormones that send the baby into a sort of a wired state. And that's why they just have so much trouble going to sleep. And I think this can relate to, to our lives as well, that when we don't get the rest that we need, mm. instead, we actually go into an overdrive mode. We, we go into workaholic mode. We go into uh, this state where our rest starts to come from the things that we produce. Well, a lot of, uh, the opposite of peace and rest is stress. Mm -hmm. So we're walking around so stressed because we haven't taken the time to rest. Right. Or get, then, in, get into the right kind of rest. And then we start to battle with each other, right? Yeah. Oh, I'm more stressed than you. I have so much going on. <laughs> <laughs> me, me and Scott do that sometimes. You're right. you're stressed out. Yeah, you think you're stressed. Right. I'm stressed. Yeah, but really, I think we should be bragging about how much rest we get. Amen. And uh, this verse uh, it says, "Come to me," Matthew eleven twenty eight, verse uh, eleven twenty eight to thirty. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Wow. Jesus is saying that our burdens, our struggles, our work in life, they're important, of course. But at the end of the day, 
we're supposed to be giving these things to him so that we can rest. He knows that if we hold all of these things on our own shoulders, if we spend all day anxiously worrying about all the things that can go wrong because there are an infinite amount of things that can go wrong yeah. at any second, that we won't get rest and that we'll go into this overtired state, we'll go into this overstressed state, and what happens is your life just becomes about your stress. I, I, I work on cars a lot, you know, in my downtime, and I do it to rest. Mm. Like I get, it's like yeah, a hobby. Yeah. But there are those times when that, that bolt just won't come off. Mm. Like there's times when the, it gets so frustrating. And I find that when I start getting stressed out, I perform worse. Yeah. My performance like tanks. Right. Like suddenly I can't do anything right. Like I'm mm. I'm doing everything that I'm doing is wrong because I'm rushing things and I'm I'm all freaked out about, I'm flustered, I'm frustrated. And when, when we get fl- frustrated at the job, we don't perform well. When we yeah. get frustrated in our house and our home life, we don't perform well. We're not uh, so. It's not that you're you stop working. No, but you enter a piece that allows you to be more fi- efficient and effective and not stressed out. Yeah, well, I think it allows you to 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 start focusing in on what actually matters. Yeah. Because when you're stressed, when you're overtired, your mind becomes consumed by that's what's stressing you. And so instead of focusing in on what matters, that being your family that being the dreams and, and vocation that God has called you to, your ministry, you can't focus on those things. You can't focus on taking steps that are going to advance you in your life because you're so stressed and overwhelmed with just making it by. Yeah. And so you're going to enter this state where it's just living and surviving day by day, just getting to the next day, just getting to the next day. And all of a sudden, 10 years have gone by and you're right in the same spot that you were 10 years ago. And I, I think too, sometimes we just muscle through things. Mm-hmm. So bulldoze. I'm just. I'm just gonna do it. I'm. I'm, I'm fine. I'm gonna. And we. And and I, I like where it says in the scripture that he says, "For I am humble in spirit. Mm-hmm. I'm gentle and humble in heart." Right. He's saying so. Humility is when I'm teachable. Yeah. And and so I can't enter the rest of God until I until I determine. Okay, God, I'm gonna let. I need your help. Yeah. Humility is like I need. I need help. Right. And when you're muscling through it, you're saying, "I don't need anyone's help. I don't need help. I'm fine. I can do. I can do this." Mm-hmm. And and you you're you're bowing a, out on a partner that wants to help you like Jesus is like stop it and I and I love too the fact that that Jesus' goal is to make you less stressed out yeah he's like hey this is what I'm up to if you're weary come here yeah I got you yeah yeah and and at the end of the day when like you said when you're stressed you can't work as well so it's not that he's removing work from you it's actually that he's freeing you up to be even more productive. Yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah. Okay, If did you receive something today? I would encourage you if you did, be generous. You go to wakeuptv.tv and click the give button. Thank you for that. The animation over here was fantastic. <laughs> and and uh, help us get this message out to more people. Um, we appreciate you guys being so generous as you always are. It's amazing. We're super, like Scott and I are just super impressed and thankful to you guys. Mm-hmm. And um, let's pray. Father God, I thank you and praise you, Lord, for every single buddy, every single person that's watching this. I thank you, Lord, that you are causing them peace in their life. That, Lord, you're taking away their stresses. That, Jesus, you said that they could cast burdens on you and cares on you, and that you give them an easy yoke, that it's light and it's easy. I thank you, Lord, that today we're, we're taking off the shackles and the weights, and we're taking on what you've called us to do, that we might be light and happy and easy, We're not stressed out today, but we're ready to win. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Well, don't forget to like, share, and watch this clip. Watch this clip. (laughs) That there is potential. There's there's greatness, but I've got to give him my yes. If you say so, I'll start the business. If you say so, I'll write the book. If you say so, I'll get back into church. If you say so, I'll have that courageous conversation that I need to confront and stop talking about it. I need to confront. Lord, if you say so, I'll begin to honor you with the first tenth of all that you entrust to me in my business and in my income. If you say so, God, I'll write down that dream and I'll believe again. You see, you have greatness on the inside of you. How do you know that? Let's back it up with some scripture. Let's go to 1 John. It says, dear children, you've overcome. You're of God. You've overcome because the one who's in you is greater than the one who is in the world. Jesus said this in John 14. I tell you the truth. Anyone who believes in me will do the same works that I have done and even greater because I'm going to the Father. So there is potential on the inside of you. There's greatness on the inside of you. But the problem is Many times we don't see ourselves as great. Many times we can become sidelined and sidetracked and 
We get focused on the wrong thing, and instead of focusing on how far we have come, we focus on how, how far we have to go. And instead of focusing on where we've made it, we focus on where we've missed it. And the enemy wants to remind you of your mistakes, your flaws, your failures, your insecurity, your woundedness. And he doesn't want you to believe that there's greatness and potential inside of you. Why? Because you see, it's not just what I know and believe about God that determines me fulfilling my potential. It's what I know and believe about God, but it's also what I know and believe about me. Okay, like, share, and subscribe, and then be in church this weekend, wherever your church is. Do we do the funny things now? Yeah, do we, now, now, now you be funny. <clears throat> <laughs> what, what time is it when you don't have a watch? Time to get a new watch. No! <laughs> <laughs>